of YouTube. My name is Mario, aka the Loot Box Hero, aka YouTube's greatest fat man. Um, uh, it's so much to be going on in the main channel that um, you know I I, I haven't forgot y'all. It's just that by the time I get around, I get time to make content for this channel when I'm not trying to stream on the third channel, which is kind of what I'm on right now. RSM plays. I'm getting ready to stream the state of play, but they dropped this and I was like, okay I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. So Obi-Wan, I don't really do a lot of reactions Because by the time I get a chance to actually do a reaction I've already watched the trailer and there's no it's no point But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and react to Obi-Wan real quick So of course if you like videos like this, uh, if you like me like comment subscribe hit the bell button do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do in order to get videos from me. Let's check out the trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So far, so good. The fight is done. We lost. They go Luke, there goes Luke, and there goes Obi-Wan. <laughs> the key to hunting Jedi is patience. Oh, okay, the Inquisitor, he looks weird. I ain't gonna lie. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi Code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? I'm sorry, those Inquisitor blades look so goofy in real life. They look goofy in animation, but they look even goofier in real life. Bro, this don't look kind of sick, though. Okay. Limited series. May 25th. Okay. All right. I, get, I dig that. I dig that. Okay. So, so far, this was pretty good. This was pretty good. So, um... All right. Um, what I like is I like... Uh, I like that they're using, like... Um, what do you call it? They, they're they using um, music from the prequels. Like, the prequels have some of the best Star Wars music, bro. I am not gonna lie, bro. It's freaking awesome. Um, also is uh, Ewing McGregor. He doesn't age. Like, he doesn't. The man does not age. The man is just, he's ageless, technically. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that they're, they have the Inquisitors from Rebels in here. I'm not a huge fan of most things from Rebels. <laughs> Rebels, Rebels seems like, like there are some good moments in Rebels, but there are also moments in Rebels that it just seems like, oh, you know, it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, how can I explain this? It's like, it feels like they're trying to be like the, the Clone Wars and be all mature and dark, but they can't, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, you know, it's, it's. It's still a kid's show, you know, and um, that those spinning lightsabers, like if you've seen the Inquisitors from, from Rebels, they have these lightsabers. It's a dual bladed lightsaber, but it's on like a spinning ring. So it's a handle and there's a spinning ring and then the lightsabers so they can spin the sabers and it sounds cool, but when you see them flying on it like a helicopter, it just looks fucking goofy. It does. I'm sorry. It just... It does, and seeing it in real life also kind of looks goofy, but uh, I do like the original Inquisitor, though. Like, the original Inquisitor was one of the best villains, not, you know, Thrawn or, or Darth Vader in that show. Like, after Vader and Thrawn, this, the first Inquisitor was, like, one of the best villains of that show. 
So it'll be interesting to see what they do with this. Uh, so that's about it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have yourself a good one.